Rim from Hallowed Be Thy Game. And today I'm going to share 11 more must-own games for the Nintendo 3DS. Let's check it out. Thank you all so much for joining me for another episode of Hallowed Be Thy Game. Ren here, and I am so stoked, as always, to be that crazy person shouting the praises of the Nintendo 3DS from the rooftops. Uh, again, this is the fourth episode in a video series, so if you don't see a video game here that you're like, why wouldn't he mention that? Hey, check out those other episodes. It might be in there. But definitely share your recommendations down in the comments because I have some absolute bangers here that have been blowing me away that have been recommended by people who watch this channel. So please share your recommendations down in the comments. This has just been a gold mine of information. I'm having an absolute friggin' blast with my 3DS. I love this handheld. So without further ado, let's begin with Lord of Magna Made in Heaven. <laughs> okay, hear me out. This is a harem <laughs> SRPG, but it's really fun and unique. Now, this is a very surprising game to me because it has gorgeous animations with the character panels, but I will admit it's a little muted in terms of the graphical fidelity of the game itself. However, what it lacks in just the awe power of character models in the game, it makes up for in just some really friggin' fun and addicting gameplay. The best way that I can describe this game, imagine Fire Emblem, but with physics-based bowling. <laughs> okay, I know that sounds weird, but seriously, what you do is you just get on the battlefield and you have your maidens <laughs> and you just essentially go out and you bowl. You just blast characters, knock down hordes and hordes of enemies. There are some definite lighthearted moments here. If you're looking for a hardcore, intense JRPG in terms of story and character development, uh, I will say this game definitely leans heavily into anime tropes. It's a lot of fun, and honestly, if you're looking for the weird, the random, and you're like me, <laughs> this definitely hits that itch. And for anyone out there who's played it, please let everyone know what you thought of it down in the comments because it's blowing my mind because I don't hear a lot of people talking about this game. Lord of Magna, check it out. Now for the next game on today's list, it absolutely does not get as much love and attention as it deserves, and that is Kid Icarus Uprising. Now I know this game is kind of memed on a lot for being kind of difficult to hold and control, but to be honest, after playing Liberation Maiden and that game blowing me away, I was like, what the heck, let's try Kid Icarus, and it friggin' rocks. Oh my god, you have just this glorious, just adrenaline-fueled air combat. You're down on the ground, it's wild, it's crazy, it's unique, and it's honestly a goaded 3DS game. This is the 3DS flexing its glorious 3D muscles, and let me tell you why. That sucker didn't skip leg day. This is just a phenomenal action-adventure game. It's fun, it's cute, it's loaded to the brim with personality, and it's just an iconic series back in full force. And it is just honestly one of those NES franchises that just deserve to come back, but in such a unique way. It's just such an amazing mashup of just aerial combat with action adventure gameplay. Totally recommend it. Kid Icarus Uprising. Don't miss out. Now for my third game on my list, this is absolutely <laughs> and shockingly the most recommended game to me on the 3DS. Stella Glow, and I absolutely see why. I slept on this game too long. Don't be like me. Check out Stella Glow. You have this SRPG combat, and it is sadly the last game from this developer. They absolutely crushed it. It's a beautiful send-off, and it is what I would consider a must-own on the 3DS. A lot of anime fun happening here with the characters and the story. You have these really awesome character models. You have very fun strategic gameplay. You just can't kind of plow your way through this game there's definitely some thought that's involved but it's extremely approachable this is a joy to play and i would tell anyone who considers themselves a fan of the srpg genre if you're into like fire emblem or let's even say the devil survivor games do not miss out on stella glow this is a once in a lifetime game because this is not going to be ported i don't see this being ported in any way shape or form this is going to be a 3ds experience and with the eShop closing don't miss out on Stella Glow. Now, next up, I have the Yokai series for you. That's Yokai Watch uh, 1, and then you also have Yokai Watch 2, which has three entries, kind of similar to you would see in like Pokemon Yellow, Red, and Blue. 
with bony spirits, fleshy souls, and psychic specters, and then the ever-elusive Yokai Watch 3. Now, I mentioned the entire series because these are all extremely beloved. I have literally never ran into somebody who hates the Yokai Watch games, but now that I've said it, I'm sure somebody out there will let me know. But these are just gorgeous, extremely charming games. Friends that I know and trust and are major fans of this game have told me this is one of their favorite gaming series, and I absolutely can see why. Gorgeous on the 3DS. Any Yokai Watch fans watching this, please let everyone know what you think of the series and which one's your favorite down in the comments. Now, keeping up with the cute collectathons, I have one that was just recently put on my radar. Huge shout out to Bad Company down in the comments, and that is Moko Moko Friends. I just picked this up, and holy moly, this is an overdose of cute, but it's fun and addictive. Uh, really, this is right up my alley. It is cute, it's weird, it's off the wall but it's also a quality game. Here, you're instead of Pokemon or, or Yokai, you're gonna be collecting plushies. You get to do all those fun things that are entailing that, but you just have a cute world aesthetic, a charming set of characters, fun, serviceable combat that is just approachable to all. This is definitely a great place, I think, for new JRPG fans to hop in. This is absolutely skyrocketing in price physically, but it is definitely one to be looking out for and picking up. If you're looking for something a little bit off of the beaten path, definitely check out Moko Moko Friends. Now, next up on today's list, I have Little Battler's Experience, or LBX for short. This is shockingly good, and it is a game that I unfortunately overlooked for quite some time because I didn't really think it was for me, but <laughs> I want to go out on a limb here and see if there's any Damon X Machina's fans <laughs> On the Switch in the comments, I highly doubt you're out there, but I freaking love that game. I love the mech building action based combat simulator, outloading your mech, it's just freaking fun. This game plays excellent. The combat, the story, it's all, you know, it is a little childish. However, it is extremely engaging and has some shockingly more mature tones as you get later on in the game. It's wildly fun. It plays excellent. The combat and progression systems are addictive. This is legitimately <laughs> flying under the radar. LBX is totally quality. I cannot sing its praises enough. And if you're a fan of this, please help me out down in the comments and help me sell people on this game. All right, and next up on today's list, I have Codename Steam. What this game does is essentially take a Valkyria Chronicles 4 experience and gives it to you on the 3DS. Now, I haven't tested this yet, but you are actually able to take a Fire Emblem Amiibo and inject it into the game. So if you don't immediately like the aesthetic of some of the characters, you know, you might want to give this game a little bit more of a look. Ultra unique game. You have very quality tactics based combat. You definitely have a lot of fun to be had here. This is extremely affordable on both the eShop and physically at the time of recording this. I'm not intentionally trying to spike anything here, but this game is completely unwanted by most people, it seems. And that is a crime against nature. Codename Steam is phenomenal. It's a wonderful, cute experience. Most everyone I talk to has played this game will tell you the same thing. It's just a fun, awesome, epic experience. It's a quality game. It's well made. It totally has flown under the radar and definitely worth your time. Codename Steam, check it out. Now for my 13th game, I have a little bit of a wild card for you with Legend of Legacy. Legend of Legacy on the 3DS is definitely kind of hit and miss with the community at large. I find this to be a quality JRPG to play. I love the graphics in this game. I love the character models in this game. Is the story lacking? Sure. Is it the most engaging character progression system? Not necessarily. It's not my favorite progression system, but it is fun. I love exploring this game. It looks gorgeous on the Switch. And if you're looking for something different, if you've had a ton of fun with the Bravely Default games, you've had a ton of fun with maybe Alliance Alive, and you're looking for something more, I would give Legend of Legacy a shot. I think it's worth trying. It's still relatively affordable physically at this moment, and it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for some more JRPGs on the 3DS. Legend of Legacy, have you played it? Let everybody know what you thought of it down in the comments. Now for my last game on today's list, I have saved an extremely weird and unique game for you, and that is Coldcept Revolt. 
I hardly ever hear anyone talk about this game. And essentially, <laughs> to describe this game, the best way I can do it is take Monopoly and then mesh it with Bait and Kaidos from like the GameCube. It is essentially a card-based Monopoly type JRPG with gorgeous character designs. It has a lot of fun combat systems here. Now, fights can take a long time. So this is for a very unique JRPG fan. If you're looking for a JRPG to just kind of plant your roots down in and just to dive in, maybe you can get some other friends to pick this up and play uh, against each other. This is definitely a game that presents a unique combat system. But with this, you're going to have some great music. I personally really like the story and the graphics in this game. It's just an extremely unique experience. And I'm always looking for that. I'm, I'm always loving kind of that weird, different type of game. And you know, as a major fan of the 3DS, the 3DS is just such an ultra unique handheld. It's something that can will never really be able to emulate the form factor experience of holding that clamshell, seeing the 3D. Anyways, Cold Sep Refold is totally worth being in any JRPG fan's catalog of games. It's definitely worth trying and playing. I had a lot of fun with it, but I will admit this is definitely going to be for a little more niche of a crowd. This was my first introduction to the Cold Sep series. I haven't played any of the other entries. Um, this is my first foray into it, but I've had a lot of fun with it. But Cold Sep Revolt for the 3DS, definitely check it out if you're looking for something quality and unique. All right, and there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me for this series. This is the fourth entry. I do have another video planned for the future, but thanks so much for your support on this. And I want to thank everyone for your recommendations. I have found some glorious, cool, weird, unique games on the 3DS as a result of the community chiming in. So thank you so much. And please share your recommendations down in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for a new fun experience. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell for more 3DS content. And until then, I'll see you all next time.